Hello everyone from the studio, YouTube studio of a public forum of NATO. I continue inviting here the fascinating guests of uh, NATO Summit. And uh, now please welcome the ambassador, Christoph Houston, the chairman of Munich Security Conference. Hello, how are you? I just saw your conversation with Mr. Sullivan. So you were on my place. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, Interviewing him. Um, I hope you don't ask as difficult questions <laughs> as I think I asked uh, Jake. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. This, uh, this politics, I, just here I have my guests with their emotions and um, their feelings about this summit because uh, it's really under the great, great tension of, uh, uh, I mean, people of uh, Ukraine, I, under the great attention of the whole world and a lot of responsibility on all the countries, members of NATO. So what do you see the possibility for Ukraine to become a key player in NATO uh, to provide security in Europe? Ukraine is doing this right now. Mm -hmm. when, when Ukraine is fighting off the Russian aggression, um, Ukraine is of course fighting for its own freedom, but Ukraine is right now um, defending um, the freedom of, of um, all of Europe. Uh, if Ukraine would lose this war, just imagine, you know, and uh, Vladimir Putin would see that his, um, his objective to re build the uh, Soviet Empire would be successful. He would um, you know, look into the direction of Moldova, he would look into the direction of the Baltic state and even beyond. So um, Ukraine is right now fighting for the freedom of Europe. The analytics uh, commented the yesterday and the communique um, declared by Stoltenberg like that we uh, helped Putin just to continue his aggression because he can um, see that uh, nothing happens. I mean, I mean, all his narratives that he is afraid of uh, Ukraine to be the member of NATO. Uh, he's okay with this, and he will continue his aggression. Do you agree with this? Well, we see that um, Putin continues uh, the yeah. aggression, although um, his plans um, that, you know, you, you all witnessed this, of course, his plans to run over Ukraine in February of last year were um, uh, thwarted. He was not successful. He has lots of casualties. So many Russians lost their life. But the guy continues to, to fight and he yeah. believes that he has more staying power than Ukraine and NATO. Mm -hmm. um, and um, unfortunately, I think he still hasn't, um, he still hasn't understood that um, he is actually right now playing with the future of Russia. I personally believe um, that um, Russia, after what it's doing right now to not only to Ukraine, but how it is violating international law it, uh, um, for many countries, Vladimir Putin is a paria. You know, he is sought after by the International Criminal Court. And um, he is actually right now playing with the future of his country. Mm -hmm. Russia will not become a global power again. Russia will be, as John McCain has said, um, uh, uh, become a, a gas station of, of China. This is Vladimir Putin. He's responsible for, um, for basically the end of, 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 of the Russia as we have known it. Uh, how will Ukraine's accession to NATO someday affect the balance of power in Europe and globally? First of all, when I've been working with Ukraine for, for many years and I'm just um, amazed by, um, by this country and by, by the people of this country, um, how um, from a country that was to a certain degree div a divided country, I remember in 2008 when we were thinking about um, uh, uh, when the American under George Bush Jr. was pushing for Ukraine membership, um, we saw that the Ukrainian people were divided. Polls were about you know 50 percent in favor, 50 percent against. We had a president, um, uh, Yushchenko, Prime Minister Timoshenko, who were fighting each other. Today there is unity between Ukrainian speaking, Russian speaking. This is one unit. They have one enemy, and they have now really created their national identity. They hold together. They defend uh, their country. And um, to have Ukraine, such a proud people um, with such an experienced armed forces, to have them in NATO will certainly strengthen, um, mm -hmm. strengthen NATO and strengthen Europe. So I'm looking forward to the moment when um, Ukraine will become member of NATO. But let me say one thing. Of 
of course we live in a time of war right now where uh, you cannot develop the institutions in your country the way that they still have to be developed there is still you know you know it better than i do yeah. there are lots of oligarchs there are um, there's corruption uh, i think what needs to be done is build a very clear um, democracy with a um, you know division of powers with a strong independent judiciary and all this this has to be built but after this experience i'm very certain that the ukrainian people are ready for this yes what contribution do you exactly expect uh, Ukraine to make in the context of global security after it enters NATO? Well, Ukraine is the largest country in, in Europe. It is a um, uh, already today a, a player. I was ambassador at the UN and Ukraine plays an important role. Uh, Ukraine with uh, its um, uh, um, products, um, with its um, grain is an important contributor to um, you know, food security worldwide. So mm -hmm. it is already a global player today. And um, I think that in the framework of NATO and framework of EU um, as an important player, one of the largest countries then in NATO and EU, um, I think I'm certain that, that Ukraine will play a, um, a, an important um, global role. And um, I expect also then, you know, as the Ukrainian people fight for freedom, for uh, uh, humanity, uh, the right for, for values that this will also give an example to other people and um, to stand up against um, you know, those who violate international law it gives an example for, for others. So I'm looking forward, I'm already experiencing um, how Ukraine is an important player, but I think um, after the war we'll see that Ukraine will become uh, an even more um, uh, respected player worldwide. Thank you so much. I, I'm just thinking while listening to you that I, I hope that next time on the next Munich Security Conference and the next uh, summit of NATO, we will meet with you and we'll talk about the victory of Ukraine and about the reconstruction and the reparations and whatever. And the war will stop. Uh, thank you so much, yeah. Ambassador, so for I'm, coming. I hope with you that this is yeah. the case. Thank you very much for <laughs> thank having you. me. Thank, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Bye bye.